हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी कंपोजिशन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल स्टील अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल स्टील ग्रेड्स इज अवेलेबल विद द मोस्ट पॉपुलर बीइंग एएसटीएम ए572 एंड एएसटीएम ए36 दीस स्टील ग्रेड्स अलोंग विद अदर स्ट्रक्चरल स्टील ग्रेड्स आर मेनली यूज्ड फॉर building frames of bridges and buildings they are also employed in the construction of freight cars construction equipments truck parts machinery crane booms transmission towers truck frames etc now steel steel is an alloy containing carbon and iron both of which are abundantly available but seldom found in pure form in order to make steel from raw materials iron is obtained from iron ore which contains plenty of iron oxides although iron is often believed to be strong and hard raw iron ore is so soft that it can be cut with a knife and some muscle iron based alloy gets their strength from the addition of carbon an iron carbon alloy is generally produced by combining coke with iron ore and applying heat until the coke ignites coke is a carbon rich form of coal as a result of this strong heating coke drops carbons and adhere to oxygen from the iron oxides leaving a combination of carbon and iron this process is called reduction following reduction around 4% carbon is present in the material which is subjected to more heating and cooling processes to reduce the amount of carbon rendering the material stronger and harder as soon as the carbon content falls below 2.1% of the material's weight the material becomes steel in order to make structural steel carbon should be further reduced until its composition is just 0.05% to 0.25% now the composition of structural steel steel is one of the most common materials used in the construction steel has higher strength durability ductility etc compared to the other materials steel is an alloy of iron carbon chromium and many other elements now the first one is carbon carbon is the most important chemical element in the steel when the carbon content increases its strength increased but ductility decreases the carbon content in the steel is normally in the range of 0.2% to 0.3% the peak value of carbon content is 0.3% because after this its ductility will decrease now the next one is aluminum it helps to form more fine gradient crystalline structure and it is used as a deoxidizer in the material deoxidizer is used to remove oxygen from the material in comparison with antioxidants deoxidizers are not used for stabilization during storage but for oxygen removal during manufacture next one is the manganese manganese has a percentage ranging from 0.5% to 1.7% the combination of carbon and manganese makes a steel to acquire its desired properties next one is copper copper is another material that is used as corrosion resistant in the steel the amount of copper is less than 0.20% now the next is nickel it is also used as corrosion resistant in the steel now the structural steel composition the following is the composition of two well known grades of structural steel astm 572 and astm a36 while other structural steel grades possess analogous compositions they may also have extra alloys or have undergone additional processing a514 also contains 0.2% molybdenum 0.48% chromium 0.05% vanadium 0.02% titanium and 0.003% boron now for a36 grade the carbon percentage ranges between 0.25 to 0.29 similarly 
मैंगनीज वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री परसेंट फॉस्फोरस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर परसेंट सल्फर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट एंड सिलीकॉन जीरो पॉइंट टू एट परसेंट सिमिलरली फॉर ए एस टी एम ए फाइव सेवेंटी टू एंड ए फाइव वन फोर इज शोन हेयर अब द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एडिशनल एलॉयज दैट बूस्ट बोथ हार्डनेस एंड ब्रिटलनेस इज द मेन डिफरेंस इन कंपोजिशन बिटवीन नॉन स्ट्रक्चरल एंड स्ट्रक्चरल स्टील इन सर्टेन केसेस the additional alloys are still able to create structural grade steel however in other cases the steel produced is extremely brittle for use in structural capacities that is all about the composition of structural steel thank you very much students